What's going on? What's going on, family? How we doing? We're going to get into it. On this Saturday night, I should have made this announcement. I should have made this announcement so people can know, but y'all can share this. This is important information. Um, I felt like I needed to do this, actually. That's why it wasn't planned, but I feel like I need to get this information out because, you know, I have conversations and I talk to people all the time and, um, <clears throat> you know, this is an important subject, you know. I'm going to get right into it uh, pretty soon. But, you know, we have a lot of people, <clears throat> well, at least in my circle, people that I talk to, there's a lot of people right now that have been blessed and that's getting, you know, uh, thousands of dollars. Um, they're getting 20000 I know some people that are getting 100000 I know some people that are getting more money than that. And they're getting it through uh, the PP loans. And, of course, people have been getting the uh, unemployment insurance for a while, too, right? Uh, that's not really a big concern uh, in that regards. I would hope people will be res try to be responsible with some of the, the money that they've been um, getting. But I want to talk about the PP loans, okay? So I'm going to get started with that in 20, 20 30 seconds. I'm going to talk about what's the PP loan, uh, the qualifications. All of this is information um, that's provided on the internet. But of course, some you know a lot of some of our people don't necessarily look up the information. Tell you how they qualify you, right? How they qualify you, how they give you the money, what you need to do, right? And then I'm going to tell you also what you need to do in regard. They're going to tell you what you need to do to get forgiveness, but I'm going to also tell you what do you need to do in order to have on books a legitimate business, right? I'm one of the few that actually do have a small legitimate business, and I'm going to tell you about taxes as well. Some of the things that some people may not be telling you, because I know some of these people are getting the uh, PP loans for you and they telling you all you need to do is X, Y, and Z, but they're not giving you the full all around information that y'all need, okay? Some of y'all, I wish I would've put this out earlier. Some of y'all, it's too late. Some of y'all already just messed up, okay? Um, some of y'all are just getting it or, or it's pending and y'all about to get it. So I'm gonna tell y'all some of the things, hopefully, this can help. I'm not an expert, but I do know what I'm talking about. And all the information that I'm giving you is verified, okay? It's verified and it's facts and it's nothing. There's no hyperbole. There's not no misinformation. This information is facts, okay? All right, so I'm done babbling. I just want to uh, give time for people to get on. So let's get into it, all right? Okay, so let's get into it. The... Um, PP loans, okay? So what, what do we know about the PP loans? That's the protection, um, that's the payment protection. Um, that's what the PP loan is for the most part. Give me two seconds, I'm uh, pulling up stuff. I got so much stuff, y'all. So y'all gotta forgive me. But what we do know about the PP loan is is that it's there for protection, right? It's uh, for small businesses right now. It used to be particularly uh, for the uh, for the large corporations. But of course, when Biden got in office, he made it where he came out with the uh with the PP. So that was a uh that was a beautiful thing, right? So now we have access to get the money. But the thing of the, the thing of the matter is is that we have um issues in regards to what are the qualifications to get the uh PP loan, right? So how so so basically how do you qualify? So how do people qualify for the loans? Well, first you got to have um, employees. You're supposed to have under 500. First of all, can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me loud and clear? Give me a thumbs up. Hey D. Hey serial. That's another serial entrepreneur. Can y'all hear me? Let me know y'all hear me. Let me know y'all hear me so I can go. Okay. Like I said, I'm just doing this off the fly. So if it's not a structure. Please forgive me if it don't flow as smoothly because I haven't planned this. This is something I just thought of. I just want to do it while I got time because I'll be busy a lot. Okay, but the government allocated roughly about $284.5 billion for the PP funding recently. And the businesses that qualify, as we know, um, are small businesses, first-time borrowers. All right, so if you got money in the past, 
And you was one of the people that was fortunate enough to get the PP loan. They're not going to allow you to get it um, this go round, okay? But you need to have at least 500 or fewer employees. Uh, you got to have proof of a PP funding uh, that's necessary to sustain your business through current economic issues. And they also, you also got to have proof of operations since at least February 15th to 2020. So for those, you wonder why uh, people who's helped y'all, who, who, were, who were helping you, ask you for a bank statement uh, in February because they want to know that you at least was operating uh, since February 15th and that you're still operating. OK, so that's very important. But we're going to get it. We're going to get deep into it. I'm going deep. I'm going to go a little deep. and I'm going to talk about a, a, a couple of things. Right. In correlation to this as well. And then the second time, the second time borrowers, um, you, you know, you got to show that you had 25 percent or greater reduction in revenue. Um, you got to be again, you got to be operating since February 15, 2020. Your business must be still open and operating. And you got to you got to you need your business need to have at least less than 300 employees. OK. Now. They do got uh, forgiveness. OK. But we, like I said, we're going to get in deep into it. All right. So here's the most important part. So y'all got what I said. Right. You got to have uh, less than uh, the first time you got to have. You need 500 a few. Second time, 300 a few as far as employees. Because remember, this is about payment, right? This is about payment protection. Excuse me. All right. And you got to be operating at least since February 15th. How they qualify is the tricky part. How they qualify you is that they're paying you for uh, two months and a half. Okay. They're basically paying you two months. They say 2.5 times. But they're basically paying you for two months and a half. So let's say, for instance, let me pull out my little quick calculator. Let's say, and this is what people were doing now, okay? Let's say, for instance, you say you made a hundred thousand, okay? Let's say you made a hundred thousand annually. That's what they're gonna ask you. What they do is they take the hundred thousand, they divide that by twelve, and then they multiply that by two point five, right? That gives you twenty thousand. All right. So twenty thousand, that gives you twenty thousand eight hundred and thirty-three dollars. So basically, what that's saying is, is that they're going to give you that to cover two months and a half, because they give you two point five times what you make in a month, right? So some of y'all have gotten twenty thousand, some of y'all have gotten a hundred thousand, okay? Some of y'all gotten a hundred thousand. So if I, if you only, if you only get twenty thousand, saying you make a hundred thousand. That means that you had to say what? That means you had to be making at least what? That means you mean at least make about five hundred thousand. So let's do five hundred thousand. Divide that by twelve. Times that by two point five, and that gives you a hundred thousand. That gives you a hundred and four thousand one hundred and sixty six dollars. All right. That's 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 how much money. Um, that that's how much money. Some of y'all have applied for and getting. I'm just letting you know that. Now think about that. Now keep in mind that's the money that they're loaning you. It's loan money. It's not grant money. It's loan money. Okay. Now they are forgiving loans, right? But we have to look into that. Okay. We got to look into that and understand how do you get your loans forget forgiven. Now first thing we must understand is is what. How do you actually utilize the money that you got that you uh, that you uh, that that loan money? They have uh, parameters. They have conditions in terms of how you spend the money. The list is payroll, okay? Salary, wages, commissions, bonuses, tips, leave. Now ask yourself: For those who got the PP loans, what kind of business entity do you have? Do you have a LLC? Do you have a corporation? Do you have an S corporation? Right? Do you have a general partnership? Do you have a limited partnership? What do you what kind of business entity do you have? Right? That's very important. And the reason it's very important because it's also going to determine in terms of taxes. Because the money that you're receiving, you're gonna you're gonna have to show proof that you made that money. If you're gonna file taxes saying that you made this amount of money, you're gonna have to pay taxes on it. Okay? So you gotta do payroll. The other one is rent. Other one is interest payments. That's on mortgages and stuff like that. Utility payments, water, gas, electricity. Remember, all of this has to be indicated, initiated before February 15, 2020. 
So if you get this money and you buy a new property and then you saying you spent it on that, that doesn't, that's not what the money is for. This is for to help you. So this is for small businesses to sustain what they already have. So if you got a hundred thousand, you got twenty thousand, you got fifty thousand, and you're buying new property, you're buying new whips, and you're saying, hey, this is cool, I'm this in investing. Just know you're gonna have to pay that money back in full because that was that was not what the money is intended for. The money is intended for is exactly what I'm telling y'all. Payroll, rent, interest payments, utility payments, supplier costs, operation expenditures, worker protection expenditures, and property damage costs. Okay? So those are the list of uh of what you uh need to uh pay back. Okay? Now if you want to, the criteria for forgiveness, right? And oh, the other thing is, if you want to get forgiveness, you need to spend that between eight to 24 week coverage period, okay? And then the 60 40 rule is basically saying that 60% of the money that you have, it needs to be spent on payroll, okay? It was initially 75%, but now it's 60%. Now, the other 40%. Is can be used for the the things that I mentioned, like utilities, rent, payroll, uh, utilities, rent, supplier costs, operation, expenditures, uh, worker protection, etc. You have to run it like a uh, a real uh, legit business. Now here's the problem, family. Okay, some of you don't know how to actually maintain a real business. Okay, that's a, that's also problematic, right? If you're paying doing payrolls, you need to be writing a check. You don't need to be paying cash. You don't need to, you don't need to be doing transfers. You need to be writing a check, even if it's to yourself. So let's say you get a, a, a loan for twenty thousand. You need to be writing a check to yourself, and you need to be doing it consistently. If it's by if you're getting paid yourself bi weekly, or if you're getting paid yourself weekly, okay. So this is these are the things that you need to be uh, need to be doing. Now here's the thing, family. <clears throat> If you got a loan, which a lot of you do, if you got a loan, PP loan for 100,000 and you have not been responsible with the money, the average business pays, the average business pays roughly 19% on taxes, okay? All right? If you're a sole proprietor, which many of you are, it's going to be roughly 13%, okay? It's going to be where somewhere between 13 the, uh, the 19. If your corporation is going to be anywhere between 20, 26 to 23 percent. But let's just do if you say you can, you have to pay, let's say you have to pay roughly 13.3 percent, right? Which is pretty common. You're going to have to pay $13,300 of that, okay? But let's say you have to pay roughly 9 percent of 100,000. You know, it don't sound bad when you're looking at it from a, um, Okay, you're gonna have to pay nineteen thousand dollars of that. Okay, you get nineteen percent, which some of you may have to pay because you haven't did your quarterly payments, etc. Now you may say, "Well, hey, I don't have to worry about that. That goes towards my business." If you are LLC, which many of you got, and you only have one member, meaning you're the only owner of the LLC, that means it's a single member. That means it's a disregarded entity, meaning that it's a pass-through taxation. That means basically that you're gonna get taxed. You're liable to the taxes. For that business so if you don't have a multi-member llc if you're not a corporation if you're not an s corporation and you and we can ask corp, we dealing with corporations we talking we could potentially be talking about double uh taxation if you're a single member a corporation but if you are an llc and more than likely you're a uh, one member how the irs is going to view you as a sole proprietor you're going to you're a disregarded entity so that means is that whatever the taxes that you owe on the money that you got to report. I'm sorry if you may, if you got a hundred thousand. I'm sorry you're not reporting a hundred thousand. You're reporting uh, five hundred thousand. I'm mistaken about that. So the taxes that you're gonna have to pay on that hundred thousand that you receive, that you're reliable, that you're liable to. I'm sorry, is sixty six thousand and five hundred dollars. Let me repeat that again. It's sixty six thousand and five hundred dollars. So for those of you who have received a hundred thousand. And 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 uh and PP loans, you're gonna have to pay back at least sixty six thousand of that money, okay? Sixty six thousand and five hundred dollars. Taxes is high unless you got a hell of a CPA. You got to do some serious deductions on that. But you're coming out some chump, all right? I'm just letting y'all know that. That's the same that goes for the forty thousand, etc. 
That's some cho that you're going to have to kick out. I'm just letting y'all know that right now. So I want y'all to be conscientious of that. And if you, especially if you're an LLC, I don't even know how you're going to, how y'all even pulling that off because that means you writing checks left and right. If you're an LLC and you're a single member, you're going to have to do some, some major maneuvering around that. Okay. So keep that in mind when you're talking about doing that. Now, for those who have the businesses, the business, again, remember to write yourself a check. And pay yourself and your and your staff. Do it that way and do it consistently, whether it's on a weekly basis or a bi-weekly basis, and do it from a business account. Do not use your business account for for casual spending. Do not use your business account to buy Rolexes, to buy gear. You can do certain things for business trips. You can have a dinner and you can do vacations where you can have a business trip because people write it off in taxes all the time. But it has to be very coordinated. You have to have a balance sheet. You have to have a cash flow sheet. It's really, you got to run it like a legitimate business. If you do not do that, you're going to have to pay that money back. And you're also going to get hit for tax fraud. Okay? They know what they're doing. And they, and they know some of you are making up these businesses so they can set you up and put you in a compromising situation. I want you all to be very aware of that. Okay? Now, here's the other thing. I hope I, hope I explain... Uh, and put everything in general context. Um, but again, if you want to be forgiveness, 60% of your income must be, I mean, 60% of the loan must be spent on, 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 on staff, on employees, okay? And if it's just you as a single member, then it needs to be majority of you on yourself. If not, you will not get the money. I mean, you will not get the forgiveness. You'll have to pay it back. You not only will have to pay that money back, but you also will have to pay taxes on that money. So you get hit two ways. You got to pay the money back, and you got to pay taxes because you reported to get that money that you made 300000 500000 600000 that year. Okay? See what I'm saying? See how they get you? The feds have a special unit, family. The feds have a special unit specifically, right, specifically to monitor and get people who get in the PP loans for PP loan frauds or whatever. They say they got enough work to last them for over two years, family. Okay? All right? So don't fall for the trick bag. Be smart and be educated. I know some of you already have been irresponsible with it. Some of you, some of you have not. Okay? If you're going to use it, use it the right way. If you don't use it that way, you're going to use it to, to up your business and invest. Okay, well, make sure you double up. So when you have to pay that money back, you can afford to pay that money back and you can afford to pay the taxes that you have to, uh, that, that you're liable to because many of you are a single member LLC, which is a disregarded entity. And again, that means basically that you're not protected because when people think about LLC, they think they're, they're protected. Yes, you're protected against lawsuits and um, yes, you're protected against lawsuits and, 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 and things and, and, and uh, uh, things of that nature. You are protected in that way, but you're in, but you're in your in your assets is, is, is protected in that way as well. But you're not protected in terms of taxation. So if you get taxed. All of that is a pass through if you are a single member. Only corporations, okay? Now, here's the other thing. This is what this is not facts. This is my personal opinion. There's a lot of people that are not working right now, okay? Employers are having a hard time finding workers, and in fact, they have uh, they have uh, raised the employment um, hourly rate, which is uh, good. It gets it just to show you how much of a how much we live in a uh, very uh, capitalistic society. Um, but here's the thing. If you notice, the Democrats are real big on immigration. Okay? What's going to happen is, is that a lot of these jobs that are not being sought out right now, um, we're looking at a situation where they're going to fill them up with a lot of immigrants. Um, and I want you all to think about how that's going to play out. Okay? Because this money that's being pushed out right now, the uh, unemployment insurance, the PP loan money. They're just giving out money left and right. They're depreciating the value of the dollar. What's going to happen? What What's going to happen in the future when all of that's gone? Well, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. Everybody's going to go back to normal. Some people are going to become multi-millionaires because they're gonna, they took the money, they flipped it, and they did the most responsible thing with it. And that's a good thing. But from the looks of it, majority of people are not going to be doing that. That's just how things are. That's the way life is. And and, and the government loves to exploit and take advantage of people's ignorance and, and, and really 
poor people's uh you know happiness right i mean you give a poor person opportunity to get twenty fifty thousand dollars you think they're gonna turn it down no they're gonna take the risk because they don't have access to that kind of money all the time so it's a lot of money to them um but it's a trick bag with that and what i'm saying is is that and when these jobs are getting filled by certain people, which a lot of them is going, a lot of them is going to be immigrants, because I see that they're passing bills, and I notice the bills that they're trying to pass. What's going to happen when uh, the people who was sitting home, who wasn't working, and you can say it's partially their fault, I get it. What's going to happen to them? How is things going to change? Right? Uh, welfare. I mean, we're living in some, uh, we're living in a remarkable time, whether it's for the better or for the worse. But it's really a, st a study, a case study. Because we're seeing things that are, we've never seen before in the history of America in terms of the provisions when you're looking at the money that's being uh, sent out and allocated right now. It's just completely uh, unprecedented. So it's very interesting. But I, I, I just wanted to quickly share my opinion about that. But going back to what I was saying about the PP loans family, make sure for those, for those of y'all who got it, and there's plenty of y'all who got it, be responsible. Follow those guidelines. If you haven't followed those guidelines and you've already spent some of that money and you one of those people that I'm referring to that's got 50000 and up, just know you're going to be paying roughly close to between thirty to 60000 in taxes. And that's on the low end uh, because that means if you may, if you got that much money back, think about it, 2.5 times, that means that whoever did it for you, if you didn't do it, they reported that you made about four to $500,000 on that um. Uh, on that application and if you're a single member LLC which a lot of you are that's a path through taxation that means that you're liable for that and that's something that's going to be over you okay so I'm not trying to do no scare I'm not trying to uh, shit on your parade I'm just trying to make you conscientious of what you're looking at and what you're facing because somebody got to tell I, I see all these economic people and I'm not shitting on them but all these people who do economics I don't understand why I got to come out and, and do these videos they should be telling you. There should be plenty of information out there warning that warning our people that don't get yourself in a trick bag trying to get all this money and not be prepared in terms of how to utilize it. And I'm not saying not to take the money uh, for some of you. If you got if you un, if you got a plan, you know what you're gonna do. Go ahead and do it, but make sure you're responsible with it. Don't go out here taking uh, traveling all across the world buying new house. I know I, I know. I, I know people that have bought new houses, okay, off that. That's not what we're doing, family. That's not the right way, and they're going to get you. They're going to get you. So be careful. Be prepared. Be conscientious. Follow the guidelines. Don't be on that, that you know, N-I-G-G-A stuff. Think about what you're going to do before you do it, all right? All right, I just want to say that to y'all. Peace and love. Stay sucker free. All right.